I V M. TFG Football is an IVM production, and you can also check out their other awesome shows like Simplified, a show that explains intense topic from around the world and simplifies it for you so that you can up your cooler in front of your friends. You're listening to TFG Football. Hello, welcome everyone. It's a new episode of the TFG Indian Football Podcast, and yes, I'm your host, Sujay, and I'm back on the show. Sounds a little uh, low over here because uh, I'm still the cold is still not left me, but I was all fit to come back, uh, and I'm here on the show. Happy to always always be. I'm always happy to be back. And uh, today we have again two other teams to look at from ISL and from my league. But before that, uh, news bit is that the preseason friendly we are talking about it and we also tweet about it. Uh, FC Goa played Mohun Bagan and it was a two nil win to FC Goa. Well, meanwhile on the other side the under fifteen. That was an interesting game. If you follow Chiranjeet, you would know. You saw. You must have surely seen his tweets. Then, uh, the ATK were beaten 13-0 by Mohan Bagan. This is the under-15 side, mind you. 13, 13. It's ATK's new name is uh, Ami Tarota Khelam. Hmm. Okay. And uh, well, that was Chiranjeet that you heard. And we have Kevin here, all ready to talk about the two teams. I guess uh, Kevin, you want to talk say something about these two things that we just spoke about? So pre-season friendlies are going uh, well underway. Uh, North East is the only team uh, from the ISL that is uh, yet to come back. Uh, they are still playing friendlies uh, back there in Turkey. So uh, Mumbai City returns back. It's heading closer to the ISL season, and I think it's time that uh, the coaches take note of uh, you know, who who are they drafting into the first eleven. I think by now it's almost confirmed uh, the way we've seen. Those players will be starting regularly and getting uh, enough game time. Hmm. Uh, I'll most likely to start in in uh, the coming season as well. Well, let's see. This uh, I think it's just a week from now, right? Uh, the games are gonna. ISL is going to start, and we are still don't know when I League starts. So we still in the same. Yeah, well, <laughs> we are still in the same dude, uh, big question dude, mark. Guys, guys, yeah, one of the one of the things that that sort of ringing uh, uh, an alarm bell for me, like we're t- we're just mentioning uh, the FC Goa versus Mohan Bagan preseason friendly. Uh, so what what's happening with that is that uh, for some reason Sanjay Sen has this uh, affinity of starting Gurjinder Kumar uh, uh, in in the defence. And playing uh, Diogo Ferreira out of position, and Diogo Ferreira is somebody who keeps saying, like, look, I just, I just like to play ahead of defenders. He's a classic defensive midfielder, and you, you're gonna play him out of position. You're gonna start somebody like Gurjinder Kumar, um, and it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna hold up in, in a league, you know. And, and that's what happens early on. Uh, the defense just uh, fails to turn on, and that's when they con- concede the goals. Later they try to consolidate, and uh, then they hold up. Just, just somehow uh, survive the rest of the game. So uh, I, I, I hope you know uh, Sanjay Sen sort of realizes what's happening here and uh, does not do this again, basically. So this time it was not uh, the problem of Sony Nord and Dipanda Dika. Uh, yeah, they they miss chances. They miss chances like three, four okay. chances easy that uh, did not uh, get converted, mm-hmm. but. You concede because of defensive uh, errors, right? That that's what happened. Mm. Uh, but but the goal that uh, the the second goal that was scored by Koro, you know the uh, the one that got an assist from Manda Rao this side, that that was a gem. That was a gem. That was a brilliant uh, assist from Manda Rao. So we we are uh, we should be excited to see what Manda Rao this side does this season. And I think I think he's gearing up for a national team bid. Hmm. Well, so I think uh, Sanjay Sen will have a lot of time to think over his team. Just like I said before, that the dates for the I League is yet not out. So I think the coaches and players have a lot of time uh, to think about their strategies and their first eleven. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we don't know when the matches are going to happen. Maybe he has three months to figure it all out. Who knows? Yeah. Well, moving on, and uh, let's begin with our proving of teams. Today we shall start off with Azor, the champions of India. Look at them. Look at their side, and they've got entirely, I think, a different new look to the team. Apart from one or two players uh, who are familiar, but they have a different coach. 
different technical staff as well. So, Kevin, we start with you. Uh, Champions of India, as all FC, how do they look? They also play their first time in AFC Champions League. Champions League is what they should be very excited about, and uh, uh, the preparations are with regards to the stadium also already, you know, set. Uh, so this is the first time that they will be playing in the ACL, and thanks to the win, the big win uh, last season. Uh, ACL obviously we've, we've not seen uh, many Indians cl- Indian clubs uh, perform too well over there uh, but uh, this as all side will be something we've not seen uh, playing together and and not the best of uh, that expectation we can keep from them but again uh, we know how as all works you know uh, last season it was the first time that Khalid Jamil took over and he was able to make the best out of them and this season uh, also you know we, when you look at the squad we see a lot of you know homegrown players there coming up from mizoram and that that's the strength that they that they have you know uh, playing home matches how you know how difficult it was for the away teams to come and uh, get a point over there so it's going to be the same uh, just looking at the squad uh, I, I, I you know just a couple of names that uh, you know uh, uh, seem very familiar one is uh, uh, obviously Alfred Jarian stayed uh, with the team so mm. he is going to be a great uh, addition uh, he is going to be a great support uh, of uh, you know uh, getting the transition in place uh, it's a new coach it's a new team so when you have players who've been you know uh, playing from last season and continuing this year that really helps and then there there's David uh, Laldrin Moa Moana who's also there along with uh, who can not forget who can forget the William legend. yeah William. Also, oh, William okay yeah William you know uh, he he's the guy that uh, you know uh, broke many hearts uh, with his <laughs> late strike there last season so a uh, couple of players uh, whom we do know of no, and start on the legend i was talking about i thought you would mention that name mama <laughs> <laughs> but mama was uh, a bit of uh, he picked up an injury in between after hmm. he joined uh, as all so uh, he's going to definitely draw crowds and uh, yeah. we know as well doesn't even need uh, big players to draw crowds uh, all the hillocks would be full of players of of the fans watching in from all sides so you know overall Some if portuguese you portuguese flavor here because the coach belongs to, he hails from portugal and he also comes with a lot of experience we yeah. spoke about it yes yet. yes a young coach there and uh, in the interview as well uh, chiranjit spoke to him so he sounded like uh, you know he he's got a plan to himself and uh, hopefully everything works on track uh, but the only hitch is uh, it's a fairly new side hmm. uh, so it's difficult to predict you know which way uh, on which foot the this team begins with hmm. chiranjit Champions of India will they be able to regain yeah. the title or it's a difficult position that they are in well it, i don't know if they will be able to regain the retake the title it's always harder to defend the title than when it for the first time but just notice something uh, you know you need you need to uh, a team like as well fc needs a very solid defense to be competitive at the at the top level okay but they have a entirely new defense altogether yeah right they they got uh, they brought in uh, who they they got in lalreen uh, zuwala uh, kiang they got in lalong zuwala they got lalchwan mawia so all these uh, new players who are coming in simply because uh, the old players have left some left for some other team and and how do you how do you maintain consistency when you have uh, an entirely new defense you have new goalkeepers everything as if your backline is not consistent you cannot produce a, a consistent performance so at the start of the season everything is just once again up in the air because we have seen this this team play in mizoram premier league which is a local league level and they have play, uh, played one friendly with chennai fc Uh, which is uh, you know okay yeah, it, it was a, it was a one goal victory for uh, chennai fc it was sort of yeah pretty pretty good for them but if you have a, if you have a, a situation uh, like that uh, you know where, where you have to perform well uh, in a in a top division league and in the asian uh, level uh, with a defense like that what do you do So I think I think this is what they try to do to avoid uh, that problem. They have two foreign defenders. They have Karim Omoloja, uh, who's from uh, Nigeria, and they have Masih Saigani, who's uh, who's from uh, Afghanistan. 
Masi Saigari may be the tallest uh, uh, player uh, in in India right now. Uh, so, so I'm I would be really happy if they decide to play two foreign defenders in ACL, which is not something you see uh, Indian clubs do because hmm. you can only register four uh, foreigners in in Asia, right? At least in ACL, I think I think you they have the option of uh, you know changing their registration uh, if they drop down from ACL to AFC Cup, which happens if you lose the uh, ACL preliminary games, then you drop down to AFC Cup group stage. So hmm. at least for the ACL preliminary stage, they should play two foreign defenders, uh, keep an keep an all all Indian midfield, which which is I think uh, is gonna happen more more or less, uh, and and. You know, just just try uh, uh, Alfred Jarian up front. It's it's gonna uh, it, it's gonna be risky. You know, it's gonna be risky. But I just hope they uh, they consider this option. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, it's it's a uh, it's like you have a you, you have a situation where a club is reinventing itself uh, with entirely new players. So uh, there are challenges that will come with that. So. So yeah, it, I think it's it's become par for the course for Isol FC uh, to work with new squads. So it's, it's gonna it's gonna be okay for them there. Now, uh, Kevin, overall, how do you? Like we just mentioned, I mean, it's a relatively new team, but they have come with this. As it has shown a lot of promise here with their off the field action, that is signing a lot of players, including the foreigners, all the coaching staff as well. I mean, they even got an assistant coach who is from Spain. So they're all gearing up, knowing the fact that they'll be playing for their first time in Champions League. Uh, but still, when you look at this team as a bunch, and do you still see that same promising as all team like we saw them in the past? No, but we uh, did see the Azwal team at the la- uh, at the beginning of the last season. It was difficult to tell, uh, you know, how far they would go. And uh, judging by the performances that they started off with, you know, it, it it still didn't give you an idea, you know, if they would go so far. Uh, there was a time that uh, you know, everybody started saying, okay, this is it. It's going to end. It's going to end. But they held on to those consistent performances. They started bringing up uh, players who started, you know, delivering from all sides. It wasn't a, a single per- a person performance in, in a match. It was in an overall effort. Now that is, you know, it's not easy to predict that right now. So because uh, you look at uh, the players uh, who've been moved from the last season to this season, they are, there's hardly a bunch. No, that so that itself it, it makes makes the chuku, makes the coach's job very difficult. But you uh, know, having a, a couple of forwards or a midfield line that you know can hold on to a difficult situation uh, where you know uh, when you're put to the test, like a, a, a tough team is uh, a tough game is going on, and and you have somebody who can step up and deliver at that moment. Those kind of players will get the team together. So it's it's not about an overall you know how the team looks, but it's right now uh, those individual performances who can uh, you know, gel the team together. Well, fair points. That's interesting. You want to add anything on to that? Yeah. Well, we uh, you know the you know that we have some players who have that caliber in as well as see. There is uh, you know the, the likes of William Lalun Pella who actually rose to the occasion last season. Alfred Jarian is a consistent performer from last season. We have Mama who is playing for his hometown club for the first time in his life. Uh, we have David Lalin Moana who is back uh, in Aizawal FC after a stint with East Bengal. So, see, this is uh, maybe, maybe Aizawal FC can find heroes in them again. Maybe it's just, it's just going to be a different set of players who will be backing them up. Uh, or maybe they will have uh, a new new set of uh, players who will ra- rise to the occasion and claim the spotlight. As you, as, I think we spoke about this before. In the Mizoram Premier League, uh, they are playing seven uh, academy graduates in the Mizoram Premier League, and out of those seven, at least uh, three four will make it into the f- uh, final squad, you know, of the I League. So they're 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 actually bringing in new faces. Look at uh, look at uh, Lalitan Puya. V. Lalitan Buya, uh, midfielder, uh, he was he was playing for Mizoram Police in uh, in in the uh, uh, in Mizoram Premier League. Okay, and and he's uh, come over uh, on loan to Aizawl FC for the I League. So, so these are these are players 
fresh players, actual fresh places, uh, faces who are being introduced into the system uh, by Azure SC. And uh, if you have if you have not seen them perform, you can't predict what they will do. It can be they can turn out to be uh, you know uh, below par, but they can turn out to be brilliant. As it happened in 2015 when uh, Aizawal FC were not converting chances but were dominating in the midfield against teams like Mohan Bagan, against team like, teams like Bengaluru FC. And everybody was like, holy shit, we have something here. And uh, and, and that, that's, that's what may happen again. I, I don't think there is any reason uh, to underestimate Aizawal FC just because they have lost their star players. Yeah, right, absolutely. Fair points from both the ends over there and uh, we'll have to wait and see for the season to begin. Uh, it was the same thing, same reactions and same, you know, kind of uh, doubts that we had. Will they, will they not even in the last season? But they went far. They were the champions and they are the champions right now. So let's see how this whole new team uh, with the new coaching staff works out well, if it will or not. We'll have to wait and watch. But moving on, now we slip into a short break before we come to the next team. Uh, that's Kerala Blasters on the other side. So all Manjapada, if you're listening to us, stay tuned and we'll be back soon. Hi, I'm Amit Varma, the host of the weekly podcast, The Scene and the Unseen. In my show, I examine the scene effects and the unintended consequences of public policy and private action. I show how policies meant to help the poor often end up hurting the poor. I've done episodes so far on demonetization, GST, surgical strikes, immigration and MRP. And I will continue my forensic assault on the truth in the weeks to come. Catch the show every Monday on the IVM podcast app or any other podcasting app that you prefer. Or visit seenunseen.in for all the latest updates. Yeah, and you're back again, and here we are. We have an ISL team to look at. That's Kerala Blasters for you. Now, Kevin and Chiranjit, when I look at this team, very promising. As in, they always, Kerala Blasters, I think, have always had a fairly good team to look at. Uh, it's always, they've twice, they've reached the finals, but yet not able to get that title into their hands. Like, some either luck doesn't favor them or things I don't know what's happening this time they've gone all out even getting a lot of united connection here uh, from the coach to two of the big players that they have but apart from even those if you keep those three big names aside you still have big names that's in terms of Indian football so you still have big names if you keep those foreign players aside like you know you have CK Vineeth you have Reno Anto and uh, the likes of Jackie Chin Singh, Sandesh Jingan. You can go on and on with this whole lineup. And then you add on to the Canadian flavor, the English flavor. It's it's crazy. Ian Hume is there. There's Bobatov. There's Wes Brown. But the big question that I would have for both of you before we look at the individuals or the, you know, age category wise is can this team really prove to be lethal like they look on paper? We start with Kevin. I am looking at one name here. Uh, this is uh, none of the categories that you mentioned. Hmm. Uh, it actually heads straight down. Huh. It's the assistant coach, Thang Boy Sinto. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, mm-hmm. Of no, course, he was yeah. Pa- <laughs> Damn, I missed out on that and see. Of course, Kevin will remember that. There now, you go. Now, with Thang Boy in, in the side, you know, they, they've started uh, so many things. Now, we've heard about uh, football schools being started by uh, Kerala Blasters, grassroots, youth development. Now, this is going to be a foreign-dominated team. Obviously, with the star names in and you don't play them, it's going to be a waste of uh, getting those those stars because fans come in to watch these stars. You know, and uh, delivering, I, I, I'm not sure if uh, all these foreigners are going to deliver. Mainly, you know, it's going to be Ian Hume who will be the goal scorer for, for uh, Kerala Blaster getting all those goals. Oh. Man, you just broke so many hearts right now, Kevin. <laughs> what about Barbatov? Barbatov is not going to score thirty goals. No, if, what are you saying? You no, know, if you if you include uh, div- uh, errors from the linesmen uh, with regards to offside, I think yes, uh, Barbatov will be there. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's there because you know uh, the the Manchester United connection is there. Uh, uh, Kerala Blast is one of the only two teams who have a foreign goalkeeper in them. Now you expect them to start 
if you expect him to start you have one foreigner less in the outfield so that makes the gives you a hit you know where where do you uh, make uh, the, the amendments it's going to be in the midfield so it's going to be an all indian midfield having you no know, maybe two foreigners out of that uh, ian yum is 100% going to play a part uh, depending on how uh, how long he can stretch how long he can sustain that uh, long season now bobitov you now with his age can he deliver it's a big question you know yes he's got the name he's got the fame but uh, coming to the on field performances is he the right man i'm not sure hmm children we also have another name interesting name here when kerala blasters i think we all were a little bit of surprise i think i was when they went for this name i'm talking about the indian samurai that he calls himself i think we all do uh, arata izumi here do you see him getting a game time here because he would be a kind of instrumental coming from neroka uh, getting them the title in the second division what do you have to say in the i league Yeah, well, uh, about getting uh, the Indian players game time, uh, I I don't really see too much happening here. Uh, Sandeep uh, is there, uh, uh, Subhash is is there in the goal, but they got a they got a foreign goalkeeper. Come on, uh, Paul Rat Ratchukka is there. Uh, two for uh, you know in foreign defenders uh, are there, and uh, we have a lot of. Uh, Uh, good players coming in uh, from uh, you know Neroka and uh, as all well, uh, in the defense uh, but i it, it could end up being a uh, you know a predictable four man defense with west brown uh, nemanja uh, rino anto and sandeep singh hmm. it's like it's like just just it's laid out there for you uh, you, you just have uh, you know one if you, if you have a indian goalkeeper then you have that uh and uh, that that allows you to play uh, a couple of midfielders uh, in the uh, or, or this i think actually there is only one uh, foreigner who is uh, you know designated as midfielder uh, in the squad list courage uh, pekusan uh, mm. you get him in and you get arata izumi in uh, the guy you were talking about Arata Izumi is going to be a uh, key here because uh, uh, he is he's going to be he's going to be the classic attacking midfielder okay he is of course he's not going to play up front of course he's not going to get a striking role ahead of uh, Ian Hume or Berbatov but he is uh, he is going to hold the attack together by connecting it uh, to the defense and the midfield hmm. so uh, expect him uh, to have that kind of a role uh, just ahead of the central midfielder maybe maybe it's, it's going to be like a 4-1 Three, uh, uh, 4 three, one, two, something like that. Uh, so Vinit will probably be in the uh, in the wings. Jackie Chan Singh has a has a chance to sort of uh, you know redeem himself here. And uh, and yeah, we'll have uh, Bhagwatov and Ian Hume just uh, standing and staying up there uh, close to the opponent's box, waiting for a pass. Uh, I'm actually just just worried about uh, Siam Hangal, Milan Singh, uh, Lokin Maitai. These these Indian midfielders who are who are there who are cramming the the squad, giving it depth. Yeah. But I'm not very sure when they will be you know getting some game time. Same with uh, the defenders, Lal Ruathara, uh, Lal Takima, uh, Pritam Kumar Singh, Samuel Shadab. Uh, these guys, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a hard season for them. usually what happens uh, for these guys is that they get picked by an isl team they get bench not a problem because by the time uh, you know isl gets over and i league comes around they go back to an i league club which which gives them regular game time but this time it's it's happening simultaneously so they won't get uh, you know they won't have some other i league club to come and uh, save them with uh, game times at towards the end of the season so yeah if, if they are to you know maintain their their current charisma or, or value uh, they need some game time and i'm not very sure uh, if they will be getting mm. it's not it's not a hit on kerala blaster they of course need the depth they of course need to try out a few combinations they need uh, you know it, there's going to be injuries by the time february rolls around and uh, uh, they will be needing uh, the backups but for the players individually it, it's it does not make too much of a sense Uh, right. to be in this team right uh, but yeah that's that's the nature of the beast you know that's what happens when you're in a draft you don't get to uh, say like okay this team looks like you know it's going to give me some chance so i will go go to that team 
uh, did not happen. You know, they um, some some of them. I I hope they don't lose heart just because they're not getting uh, game time right now. Huh. Kevin, was it if you were a coach of this team and you being I'm putting you in uh, Rene's <laughs> shoes at the moment, coming in with a lot of expectations. I mean, there's a lot of expectations riding on you because it's a big thing that's going around Rene is that he was the right hand of uh, Saf, Sir Fe- Alex Ferguson, but he's not Sir Alex Ferguson. You know what I mean? But for ISL standards, I think he's still a big figure uh, coming in with that kind of quality and experience. What would you expect with if with this team given? Is it a difficult job or I, is it an easy job? I I would trust my Uh, assistant Indian coach you know that that's the first thing because uh, uh, it's a longer season uh, Indian players will be playing a bigger part than the foreigners but uh, it, it's not much of a difference six versus five on the field so that doesn't make it you know all Indian or all, all foreigners it's it's just the 50-50 amount there you know someone like Prashan I was just looking through the squad list uh, uh, Prashant, uh, we saw him play for Chennai City last year. I was impressed by his uh, run on the ball. Now he's got strength, he's got you know power, and he's got the pace. Now someone like him in the forward line wouldn't make sense to me. I would play play him as a winger. Now these all decisions are not by Rene. Maybe uh, you know Thangbhai Shinto comes in, and you no, know, that's the reason he's gotten players whom he would want, like uh, Samuel Shadap is there. You no, know, these kind of players along with uh, Lal Rothara. You now he Lal Rothara obviously you no know, the way that he's performed last season, he's got a call up for the national team as well. So. Th- these are the kind of decision you know, that uh, Rene would want to get from his assistant coach. So, I- I- all in all, he's got a big, big uh, mix of players. Uh, but uh, all we hope is, you know, the Indians who've been wanting to get that chance, like for example, Karan Sony. You no, know, Mumbai City is closed, almost Mumbai closed FC. down. M- <laughs> Mumbai <laughs> FC is almost closed down. Uh, we-, we we are almost sure of that. So, you know, these players who you know got a chance to get away from uh, you know one year of absence they are here in the ISL they are here for a big name team I hope they get the chances now it's yeah. all up to uh, the coach and the assistant now coach now the ma- main thing that I can make out of these points is that I put Kevin in Rene's shoe and if Kevin was Rene I think Rene should listen to this that what you would what would Kevin do if he was Rene is that the first big thing is do homework on your assistant coach <laughs> like trust him completely know Thang Boy inside out like what he can bring to the table and then just go walk along together uh, get in your experience take I, his I experience if you look working at the, with you. if you look at from the player's perspective uh, uh, more than uh, the coach they, they can trust the assistant coach uh, Thang Boy Shinto yeah. no, if uh, they know if he's got them in the team uh, via the draft I think they've got he's got great plans for them yeah absolutely now summing up Chiranjit what do you what do you reckon with Kerala Blasters can this team or will this team win the title is the question <laughs> will, will they win the title I think uh, that's the expectation of the fans after you know getting burned twice in the final they, they really want to win the trophy uh, no matter what. And, and surprising with the same been, team, again the same team. Yeah, uh, but I think I think it's going to come down to uh, how the how the attack does uh, because uh, they they just need to produce, uh, let's say about seven eight more goals than they did last season uh, right. in order to uh, to really make it. Uh, it's it's a it's a tricky thing to like say whether a team will win the trophy or not because in ISL it's it's a it's a it's a bunch of bullshit anyway because uh, you play well all season then you have a uh, you know, semi final and yeah. final playoff and some some team comes and plays negative football and uh, wins through penalties uh, and suddenly you, you uh, your entire season's work is uh, you know down to nothing uh, so, so it's it, it's never going to be easy to say that this this team will win or will not win uh, the uh, the the thing but uh, as far as just staying in the top four goes, Kerala Blasters have a good shot, and and they have they have done that most of the time. They have done done that uh, twice out of three times. So uh, that's that's not going to be a big deal for them either. So uh, they they got the right stuff here. 
so they will they will just need to figure out the playoffs as it comes along hmm, this looks like a big team like how mumbai city last time looked like you know with all those attacking and all those players and we also said that if it's not now i don't know when so i think there's three things that real blasters need to do is goals goals and goals just score just keep scoring goals in every game now that you have the whole team with you and they will start with the first game itself and the first match itself they're playing is atk that's the season opener for isl on the 17th yeah, of november man, that's the ripper. the replay of last year's final yeah, yeah. Oh so it's going to be crazy because it's going to happen in kochi so expect the house full uh sea of yellow or whatever you want to call it out there and now that's all folks for today's show hope you enjoyed the show let us know if you're a manyapada or if you're an isl fc fan let us know your thoughts uh, right to us in the comment section below on our youtube channel and please do like share and subscribe to our youtube channel uh, hit the bell icon that you see there and so you get so you don't miss out any of our new episodes uh, you can also talk to us directly on twitter channel Jee Toja Boz underscore Kevin Sanjay Matthew ninety four. Read about about all these stories of our on our website thefangrass dot com. Also follow the TFG Football Today handle to keep yourself updated about everything that's happening in Indian football. Have a great day, folks. Enjoy. Cheers. We see you next week. Bye bye. was Tantrik Steve from Hansraj College Delhi performing at IIT Bombay's Mood Indigo. Just like them there's a lot of new talent and art coming out of colleges all across India but unfortunately most of this goes completely unnoticed or ignored. To fix this we started atkt.in. Hi, I'm Ankur. I'm a musician and a rapper and I found that one of the best things about being an artist myself is finding new talent. Through atkt.in Tanya my colleague who's a dancer and our whole team really is putting all of our efforts into discovering and promoting all the coolest talent that's coming out of colleges all across India and this goes up on our website our social media TV radio and now of course this podcast with IVM make sure you go to our website support the talent with your likes your shares your comments all of that really matters go ahead check it out atkt.it Excuse me, bhaiya. Excuse me. Bolle, madam. Menu me kya hai? Menu me seen and seen hai. Podcast hai, on course hai, Cyrus hai, hai, Made in India, Rediscovery Project, Empowering Series, Sex Wax hai, IVM Likes hai, Simplified hai, Keeping It Queer hai, Things and Destinations hai, My Neighbor Zuckerberg hai, aur the fan garage hai. Aapko kya chahiye? Uh, ek baar repeat kar denge kya? Repeat repeat nahi karta hum. Aap jao ivmpodcast.com pe aur suno ye sab. Ya fir download karo unka app. Sab aapke ungliyon pe.